a very good evening to each and every one of you and yeah uh, welcome to this uh, session uh, arranged by apple and data logics uh, ipad and business i i understand there is a bit been a, a little bit of a glitch due to some traffic <laughs> hassles in mumbai and uh, uh, welcome and uh, happy to see you all we'll start the session and uh, i just want to introduce uh, Data Logics. We are an Apple enterprise B two B partner, and uh, we are in this business for the last uh, thirty two years. And uh, recently, Apple has accredited us with uh, a special accreditation in education. We are also an AAES, which means Apple Authorized Education Specialist. So we do special business and uh, in the education sector as well. So, um, having said that, we would also like to uh, welcome each of you from different fraternity. We are expecting few more people to come in, and with this, I hand over the session to Mr. Vasudevan, who is the director of the Institute of Analytics from the USA, and he's a business development uh, person there, and he's got rich experience in consulting or uh, in finance, in in marketing, in education, as well as in various other sectors that he would be briefing us on. Uh, with this, I hand over the session to uh, Mr. Vasudevan. Thank you, Jerry. Good evening to one and all of you. It's a great pleasure for me to be here on this uh, evening to share some of my thoughts, some of my experiences in the field of uh, applied technology in business. We must have all heard, we must have all uh, seen uh, newspapers and write-ups and uh, discussions that are happening at various forums on the disruptive technologies. So. On seeing the screen here on the disruptive technologies, you'll find that uh, some of the most important, there are 12 disruptive technologies that have been identified by uh, McKinsey. Okay. Uh, you, look, uh, all of you are aware about McKinsey as a consulting company? Uh, okay, okay, no problem. Uh, McKinsey is one of the four, uh, big four they say uh, in terms of consulting. You must have heard about uh, Ernst & Young, McKinsey, Deloitte uh, kind of company. So it's similar to that and uh, they do consulting for not only uh, corporate organizations, they do it for the government sector also. They do it for the government of uh, uh, US, they do it for government of Singapore. So they give a, they do a lot of research and provide data for the policy making that is important in the field of it could be for technology it could be for social decision making economic decisions and all those stuff so they are into that kind of a space and they have come with what is called as the disruptive technologies and these disruptive technologies if you look at the uh, whole list of the thing the top on the list is the mobile internet and that's where we are all sitting at uh, apple as the a key uh, torch bearer if I can say on the field of uh, mobile and uh, next is the automation of knowledge work internet of things and cloud technology and then you have the other areas of advanced robotics then you have 3d printing then you have uh, energy uh, management and kind of stuff so you have 12 different disruptive technologies but the top four if you look at it the cloud the internet of things have you heard of the word internet of things IOT. Koi bol sakte hai? I mean, anybody can volunteer. Ek do shab. Aap jaise samjhe. The way you have understood it. It is like we know internet. What do we do in internet? We browse. We are able to see. We are able to connect with people. Hai na? To but Internet of Things, you know, it's connecting things. So, uh, if I have to know what's happening on a, uh, let us say, washing machine, 
whether the washing machine is functioning well and who will like to know more the user as well as the company which is providing service why so that they can provide better service when they do the manufacturing they have the sensors built in and they will capture those data that is on the basis of the functioning that happens and those are taken to the cloud again that's where the data goes and sits and the, and the internet through the internet it goes to the cloud and then it is captured and these data are analyzed based on the performances actions can be taken services can be provided this is how the uh, internet of things work this is on the it can be done at the domestic level when our we can call it as home level home appliances level it can be done for industrial level manufacturing sectors so internet of things is going to be internet of all things we have already connected people it's going to be things so it's going to be internet of everything so all these have to be robust you no know, supporting us in various activities whether we like it or not today we are all on the driven by the technology power through the mobile phone either we have a smartphone or we have an apple phone so we are all and the computer systems whether it is a small vendor or a big vendor I mean big businessman everybody has to use the uh, computer so it's driving the entire thing like it happened the, in the industrial uh, revolution that happened about a uh, uh, century uh, before so these are all uh, what you call as no now we are in the what is called as a digital transformation period you must have heard uh, so many uh, statements being made by the world bank and so many other uh, you know uh, economic forums and also at the government levels so here if you look at it the opportunities that are coming up everybody whether we like it or not we have got to align ourselves in this if we don't align we are left behind that's how it is the people who are not able to use internet they are finding it difficult to look come to the mainstream so everybody has to align themselves and more so if you are in the business world if you are in the business world today everybody is having the smartphone and they are using it for digital payments and all if they are not having those facilities they are left behind they miss that opportunity of doing the transactions that could otherwise would have fetched them a business so we have to understand how these are going to play a role and all these are all these four things are imbibed in the kind of technology that is being used by apple incidentally so we are going to see one by one how it is going to happen but how technology should play a role see um, this is something which you know which should be fascinating everybody in 60 seconds we are generating so much of data and you must have seen that data is now the most important thing that is playing a very big role in all the transactions that are happening and in 60 seconds what happens is 12000 new ads are posted on craigslist 370000 plus minutes voice calls on skype 370000 in how many 60 seconds about a minute you have about 70 plus domains registered you have 100 new linkedin accounts open in just about 60 seconds so that is the kind of connectivity that is happening world over and are we ready to kind of sync with this kind of development is what we are going to see i was explaining to you i was about the internet of things iot so where are those applied how it is applied in the business it is applied to manufacturing sector as i told you if you are looking for a supply i mean a chain of operations and in the chain of operations we all we have what is called as you have to get the best optimized output when i say optimization of output it is not just the production quantity it is also how the resources are being used so if we have sensors at different locations in the operation cycle and if we are able to monitor them then the wastages and spillages that normally happen in the manufacturing flow which otherwise goes unnoticed will get captured through iot 
this is a very positive thing it is also used for inventory control you know inventory means stock so in a stock if you stocks if you maintain high quantity of stock you are blocking your money into that you are not encashing that if you have less stock that means your production cycle gets affected so you have to have the optimum level of stock so how do you monitor them so you will have to have a continuous cycle of data being collected from at different points of time at different supply chain cycle you know supply chain management is so it is used in manufacturing it is used in healthcare uh, you might be surprised uh, i mean since i represent the institute of analytics it's a us based organization which is offering both it's a uh, training organization of course in data science machine learning and artificial intelligence but nevertheless now they, we also do consulting on it in the healthcare what happens is you will be surprised the toothbrushes are going to come with sensors <laughs> and why the toothbrush will capture the way we are brushing our teeth and that data will go to the dentist with whom we have taken reference and he will he or she will tell are baba the way you are brushing your teeth is not proper you are putting you are coming you are putting so much of pressure on the left hand side but not on the right hand side but for some good reason it's having an impact and you know tooth we plays a very big role in the entire system every part of the body is very very important and uh, tooth we normally neglect and it can cause severe severe problems it can cause problems as you uh, know gastric problems it can cause it can cause problems to the neural systems and all but we don't know how it is very well strongly connected so dental can play a very big role this is one example i am talking about we can have data collected from different sensor points using iot for various parameters in health so it has got applications in healthcare then you have in insurance i'm going to explain a case study on insurance how it is done because i have uh some people coming from insurance here finance retail government utilities communications everywhere today we are talking about smart cities what do you mean by smart cities what is a smart city it's quite a like metropolitan urban technology they are having that kind of thing it is a technology based okay why do we call a person smart let us go to forget the city part of it kisko smart bolenge Are you? You are only answering. I want somebody else to answer. Knowledgeable, fine, excellent. Everybody who is knowledgeable is he smart? Is he or she smart? Ha. So, or कुछ है ना? Efficiency. So, application of knowledge at the right time is efficiency. Okay. Making. Who is a smart person? The person who is able to know use that knowledge appropriately at the right time. अरे स्मार्ट काम कर दिया हार्ड वर्क करने वाले बहुत होते हैं स्मार्ट कैटेगरी सो वॉट इज द स्मार्ट सिटी गोइंग टू डू स्मार्ट पीपल वे कैन अंडरस्टैंड स्मार्ट सिटी क्या होता है द स्मार्ट पर्सन इज गोइंग टू रेस्पॉन्ड टू द प्रॉब्लम अप्रोप्रिएट करेक्ट दट्स वॉट इज द मीनिंग अ पर्सन हु इज रेस्पॉन्डिंग क्विकली इज अ स्मार्ट पर्सन सो वॉट इज द सिटी गोइंग टू डू means a smart city is a, uh, a, a city uh, is a city where the public administration that is the government is going to respond to the needs of the people smartly that means it is going to address the problems immediately how can we do unless it is getting data correct that's where all this data will be collected through iot at various points at the traffic points for the road safety it will collect data from the hospitals for public health system it will collect data from the insurance companies for providing the medical uh, insurance and other bim yojana and all those stuff which is the government is running all these things are possible only when data is collected and it is done here iot helps that yeah so i was explaining to you about the uh, healthcare technology in healthcare we know today that healthcare is very very 
crucial i mean we have seen this in the last 2 3 years how pandemic had played a very big role in no completely disruptive we are talking about disruptive technologies but covid 19 had disrupted the whole world that small little micro organism organism is it not to so, healthcare becomes very very important for everyone one of us and if we can use technology in order to predict identify who is likely to get a particular ailment and studies are being done already to detect cancer in a through the blood reports and other reports which are normally taken who is likely to get a cancer after 5 years 6 years or so based on the various composition so studies are going in the direction so if you are able to predict what will what can one do are you going to stop with the prediction what will we do we will also prevent so prevention is going to help us in the prevention is better than cure so we are not just going to be what is called as predictive analysis we are going to do prescriptive analytics also so it's going to prevent certain diseases so technology plays a very very important role there next bfsi banking financial sector and insurance let me just talk about insurance i am not going into the bank anybody any banker here okay since no banker is here i'll focus on insurance because i have a person here on in the insurance sector see we make Uh, in the insurance sector what is the biggest challenge data data ne no, in the in the operation level in the for a what you call as a policy holder policy holder and for the organization from the organization point of view security benefits benefits now what do you what do the insurance company get they get premium of course that is the income what is their expenditure what is the expenditure for why do they get premium claims. claims are all the claims genuine so there are issues of claims being dubious how to identify dubious claims claims which are considered to be suspicious fraudulent what they normally do let us take the case of healthcare we did a study on that for a big multinational company so what did they do they will collect as the claims come they will look at certain parameters they think that okay these are these are likely to be suspicious so they will keep that separate those claims separately it is manually done based on the experience that they have each one has got there will be a team which will be sitting and everyone will keep it separate and then they found out out of let us say 100 claims which are suspicious only about 4 or 8 were actually fraudulent others were clean so but the time was spent in going through the entire process of you no know, tracking down investigating whether it was really a fraudulent claim or a not a genuine claim kind of thing so time is spent money is spent man hours spent but effectively only 6 or 8 and there is also a possibility that some good i mean a really bad claim i mean a suspicious claim or a fraudulent claim would have just been passed that is also possible so we developed based on the experience of real fraudulent claims and all those things we developed a algorithm using machine learning and artificial intelligence we were able to predict with an accuracy of about 65% to start with from about 4 to 6% we were able to predict that means the time spent the human hours spent in identifying and it is a lot of savings for the company is it not so those kind of technologies are really playing a big role in bringing down the cost of operations if the cost of operations are going to come down who is going to get benefited the customers the consumers we the people are going to get benefited is it not like cell phone if i remember when it came first technology when it came a mobile phone an outgoing call 36 rupees Incoming call also was thirty-six rupees. Can you imagine that today? 
you use any in a quantum of data no it's all very competitive everybody is vying against it and with 5g and all those technologies things are happening okay next uh, screen please technology in education yeah people he was mentioning about how education uh, apple is venturing into the education field education is a very very important field and uh, today artificial intelligence and uh, technologies are one is technology is being used why is baiju uh, successful today is it just the teaching part of it it's being supported by technology today we are doing programs for schools wherein the students use technology games for learning mathematics english science and on a self learning mode the teachers will help but it will be more of a self learning okay so there is a progress and all this have to be supported by robust technology we are going to see how it is going to be done next technology in agriculture this is going to be uh, very very useful in a country like ours where agriculture becomes a major uh, economic contributor okay about 60 70% of our entire economy is built on the uh, platform of agriculture and if you are able to use technology not just the tractors that i mean i am talking about uh, the kind of yield that a particular crop can give in a particular climatic condition in a particular soil use water adequately so not more not less water wastage can be stopped and most importantly the weeds can be removed you can identify where the weeds will are likely to come and then you kind of take action prevent just like we were able to predict for the health similarly here you can predict where weeds are likely to come and therefore you can take preventive actions there based on the soil and the other climatic conditions all these are going to reduce the cost of production when it reduces the cost of production it is going to enhance the value of the agricultural produce and therefore they will be able to transfer that value to the customer or consumers like us it's going to play a very big role next A I R, and on the face of it, it looks A I R. What does it mean? If you look at it separately, A I, A R. A I is artificial intelligence. A R is augmented reality. Exactly. If this can be combined in a single technology, both, you no, know, going together. hand in hand the hardware and the software made for each other kind of thing and that can happen only with a product like apple we do have other phones also but the kind of the synchronization that happens the safety of the product the safety of the data the robustness the longevity of the use of the product these are all very very essential why hardware and software has to be embedded with it to each other and it plays a very big role next and nothing can be better than fast computing when you are able to get the results quickly see uh, why why were we able to control if i can say to a very large extent for a kind of population that we are why were we able to kind of bring the covid impact on a very large scale why did it happen because we had platforms of collecting data we were able to track them and analyze compute them no how many people have got uh, no uh, the symptoms of that and how many have been hospitalized all those were analyzed compute they had computed all those data and it helped the scientists to scientists doctors and the health workers to act upon that and of course the government also need to to support those kind of initiative and you cannot do it unless you have a wifi fast mobile i mean data collecting uh, platforms so you need to have connection with the cloud 
and everything is now on cloud nine if i can say you have to uh, everything is cloud driven why because you need not put those huge servers to capture those data huge servers means huge cost but in on cloud you can have access at a very low cost all these are possible by using the most integrated technology on the backend systems and the ecosystem using cloud next so if you look at uh, this product the apple product any apple product for that matter it has got all the features of you no know, high efficiency cpu cores uh, lower power video neural engine uh, neural engine means you you might know that you no know, um, our own body our brain how does it work based on the neural system and a similar neural system is developed almost similar that's why it is called artificial intelligence that kind of a system engine is developed on the apple you have advanced power management that means you can save a lot of power battery backup and other things high performance unified memory that means you can have store multiple data with multiple applications for multiple purposes for multiple number of years you cannot get this anywhere high efficiency audio processor you take one aspect it is it would be answering that and all these are essential for our day to day business and also at the person at an individual level next see if you look at the photographs that you are seeing there it's it can be used by anyone in any part of the world at any given point of time whether you are a student or you are a teacher or you are a, a industrial worker or you are a health professional or an insurance guy you are the owner or you are an employee everybody can use it for their best performance see if i can have the i am a good performer but my performance will be augmented if i have a better support system which is based on technology which can improve my efficiency level my energy is not lost on doing normal calculations normal additions normal multiplication normal storage all these are taken care by the system i will be focusing only on the most complicated problem solving and that's what my brain is meant for when i say i it means you is it not our brains are very 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 what you can say is it has got all the functions it has got all the versatility but are we using it to the full no because we are doing the routine things we are not able to apply it for higher order applications if we are is able to get that support through the technology we can use that okay next work on anything from anywhere that's the most you know, the ease of working i am going to uh, mention a few uh, phrases or terminologies that are going to be very applicable very much applicable here and thunderbolt support what do you mean by thunderbolt it means it is very very strong it can handle any amount of data and uh, if i have to say data it is big data i do not know how many of you are aware about the terminology of big data what does big data signify okay that's fine data is no the and the amount of data it is huge amount if you talk about volume we all remember it by volume v volume but it is just not the volume there is another feature the velocity at which the data is coming that is why it is thunderbolt again it's not the heaviness it is the speed thunderbolt comes very quickly velocity and the variety of data it can be an audio data it can be a video data it could be a normal columnar data 
it could be sensor data it could be text data everything can be analyzed and it needs to be supported and it can be done through proper mechanism of support through proper technologies next so any technology has got to be i'll go from the right to the left it has to be simple it has to be seamless it has got to be smart i already use the word smart all of you are smart so the phone the, uh, the system the technology that we use also needs to be smart as much as we are okay it has to be secure today if data is not secure what can happen it can play a rock in anybody's life for that matter and most important thing it has to be secure and security is the most fundamental predominant feature of an apple a real apple is also secure it does not cause you know when the one apple a day keeps a doctor away is it not we have all listen to that similarly this apple keeps away all the technologies because it is embedded with all the other features is it not scalability you can scale it to any level if it is not scalable you are limited you you cannot go beyond a particular point what is the use i can go only up to 5 kilometers what's the use i have to travel 5000 i have to travel 50000 it has to be scalable and this provides that sustainability it is not just for one day it is not just for one month it is sustainable for life that's the most important thing yeah next and it is the design everything is by design they say no life is a design and this is secured by design itself touch id and face id nobody can handle your touch and uh, though we all have read there are no seven similar <laughs> there are seven people in this world who have similarities or look alike have you found the second one any time koi bhi dekha hai kisi dusre ko jo aapke jaise hi lagte hain abhi tak to nahi so it is unique and whose design it is it is a divine design hai na and similar design is made here for the technology part of it face id nobody can replicate touch similarly fingerprints why fingerprints are very important it's unique design secure enclave it's in a very safe place nobody can have access to that encryption and data protection this is software because software and hardware are embedded many places software is alone hanging hardware is hanging alone and we will be dangling in between but this is encrypted then you have software up regularly they keep updating you of course you might say that it can it can happen in others also yes everybody does that but the kind of update you already have on a higher platform and then you get updated there you are already on a 10000 feet mountain not on the ground so you are climbing up up and up okay flying high rather next piece and if you are not only smart you are all intelligent a phone is also intelligent an iphone that's why it's iphone it is intelligent it is innovative because nobody else has been able to crack what i apple has been able to do and it can integrate itself to any kind of technology if you want to bring microsoft yes if you want to bring any other technology yes it can get integrated with any other kind of technology not all of them are capable the moment they start attempting to do that they break down 
beyond a point not immediately so that's where sustainable making plays a big role it has to be sustainable also all the features are going together going along not individually it carries all the horses if i can say together and in the same direction not in different directions yeah and with the power for the most demanding task what we could not imagine it can be done can you imagine that a video which is captured you can enlarge it and see it photos images you can enlarge videos can you enlarge it can be done here and why for us it might be fun to have an enlarge to see some marriage event or some other function to see in an enlarge mode but that is not that it's on the social side yes we have that get that uh, happiness or uh, joy of seeing that but on the if you look at it from the business point of view if i am taking the ca capturing some data some uh, functioning of a machinery and if i am able to enlarge it and see it in a much more clearer manner in terms of the functionality of that particular operation of that particular machinery of that particular equipment how much effectively i'll be able to take decisions in terms of its performance is it not next and most importantly is it has to be accessible you have everything but you can't go near it what's the use it's not meant for me i know there is kohinoor gold somewhere kohinoor diamond but it's not for me what's the use i might be sitting in a kohinoor international hotel but kohinoor diamond is not mine not accessible but a value or equivalent to that in terms of technology accessible yes it is here adaptability the way you want it the way you would like to see it the color the feature of course it always comes in black and white because life is ultimately black and white and the mix of it is gray and we don't like that shade agility agility is the speed at which one can adapt themselves agile person and a technology which is agile changing according to the needs of uh, development the needs of expectation of a customer be it a consumer or a uh, businessman an entrepreneur a healthcare worker a health professional an insurance guy everywhere it is agile next and you need not you know create an environment it is just designed wherever you are you can use it it is designed for work on the go thin and light it does not carry weight inside there is so much of weight in terms of value by in physical terms no weight weightless and you need not wait also for the results that need to come 4g lte and 5g sorry sorry 4g and 5g i mean latest technologies uh, bandwidth all these are captured an all day battery life these are all some of the features that go hand in hand with uh, the apple products whether it is a mobile phone or it is a laptop you name it it's that more operations to more options to create content you can use pencils normally you no know, many people you know the, of course we are all now got to use to use uh, keep uh, keypad and all those things but if somebody is not able to use a keypad for some good reason they have some problem they can try it out they can use voice to carry out certain uh, what is called as conditions or certain commands all these things can happen and still it will work can you go beyond, uh, before any other system and you just voice over it you will just listen to your own voice there is no voice for that 
that if the voice is heard and responded to by a technology, by a platform, by a system, what better can it be? Next. Connectivity, compatibility and convenience. As I told you, weight is less convenient. Connectivity, by all means, we are talking about the latest 5G and all those things. Compatibility, it is, it can come, it is compatible to all the other uh, technologies. Why it is secure? Because any app, application, which can disturb the security of the data, or the security of the phone itself, or the system itself, it will not be allowed to even be downloaded. It can come with a, a the app might come with an what you call as a vested interest of capturing data. Those kind of applications will not be allowed to be downloaded at all. So how much secure it is? Next, and it is designed for everyone. This I told you. Be it a student. Student means I am not a kid. Kids like to play today with apple. Though, though they might not eat as much as apple that we would like them to eat. But they like to use apple phones. Whether it's kid or a school boy or a girl, a teacher, everybody can use it according to the way they would like to use it according to the needs of their profession according to the needs of their business according to the needs of their enterprise according to the needs of their taste you can be coming from a what you call as a, a creative uh, world you might be in the field of arts and you know uh, art and culture you may be a drama artist or a dancer also you can make use of it you can play a uh, replay capture your own performance as I told you analyze the video enlarge it improve your performance think about that so be it any person it is designed for everyone yeah so the key is the key for any technology should be it has to have the right it has to have it has to be productive Productivity is the key. The next thing is, it has to have the right design and creative. Creativity, why are we are talking about creative? means it is trying to give the best out of it. Only a creative mind gives the best. Is it not? Otherwise, it becomes routine and mundane. Like that, it will it has to be unique. If it has to be unique, it has to be creative. Is it not? We always try to do things differently. And you should get the right service and support. Everything is there, good product at But something you need as a support, if it is not there, it's not coming in time. You don't feel comfortable about that. So you need to have good services and support. And you, of course, if it is going to be for business use and all the kind of training, it is used for training the use of usage of the phone or the systems. It is also used for training various other programs also. As, uh, as we, we were talking about the education field, it's getting into that. And we talk about education, it also includes training. And it is, it has to be operational at all levels. So these are the key uh, aspects that needs to be considered whenever you choose any kind of technology. I am not telling this is the best and therefore you should go for it. But I can tell you what are the features of A, B, C, D, E, X. And then you make a choice. Incidentally, it is A which comes first. A for Apple. <laughs> what can I do? I have to start that. Next. An iPad uh, system. No? You must have heard about ERP. What is it? Enterprise resource planning. What is enterprise resource planning? That means you are trying to 
connect all the functionalities because one uh, marketing will be going one direction production will be going one direction purchase will be in one direction if it is not going hand in hand if the data is going to be collected at multiple points in a different manner and if they don't connect each other what is the use that's where the erp as a system came in as a solution came in, where one data used by purchases it will be used by finance it will be used by marketing it will be used by all the functions whatever is relevant to them single data will be used that is erp connecting the functions then you have supply chain it is connecting the organizations the procurement side to the end distribution side including the logistics part of it so that the efficiency of the end to end is taken care of but what do you do with all these things with this, all these operations for whom are you doing it for a customer and the customer is not happy what is the use one good customer will refer another customer one happy customer will refer another customer if a dissatisfied customer is there what will he do he or she will take away 10 so the ratio is 1 is to 10 so you need to ensure that the customer is retained and for that you should have a good relationship with the customer and that's what this CRM all about and this iPad the system helps in integrating all these things next See, this is an insurance company incidentally uh, they are 200 years they are in the life insurance uh, field and earlier they were collecting all the data in the you know, typical uh, physical format and then trying to analyze and all those things but now after have they have introduced Apple as their uh, brand of technology for their operations they have found that the kind of efficiency that the companies have been able to get in terms of sales and productivity it is not just about the sales sales means revenue no it is about the productivity in terms of how much you are able to reach out to others and the customers are happy sales will improve so this is what is the cycle that has happened so it's a good case that has uh, used so if I can say uh, can you just I mean uh, iPad Pro and the discovery app are enabling us to provide the best possible experience while effectively meeting our regular this is what that AXA company the insurance company was uh, remarking or responding to after the use of this iPad next next it is an enriching experience and it is an encompassing experience it is an inclusive experience it is not just for people like us it is for people who are also differently abled there are technologies for differently abled people also and they also get the enrichment by that this is something which is very very unique because it is designed for the people. Incidentally, it is not by the people <laughs> or of the, of course it's of the people because the, pe the people manufacturing that are all people only. Okay, so yeah, can you go there next? What? Okay, any questions? Anything on this? I mean, of course, the product and other details will be uh, enlightened and uh, uh, explained in detail by our uh, other friends here. But I come from an industry background. I come from the practitioner background. I come from a uh, what you call as a user background. And I'm seeing different types of, types of technology, not only in India, but across the globe after having traveled here and there. With my limited knowledge, with my limited experience, I want to tell you all, my dear friends, please always think that technology always is ahead of us. And unless we are able to align ourselves to the technology, 
we will be left behind and we are when we are left behind the kind of feeling that we get we will feel totally demotivated the moment we get demotivated our productivity comes down so in, in if you want to increase your productivity try to align yourself to the new technologies that are happening okay uh, again i'm asking you i'm inviting you to ask any questions or if you want specific this thing i mean we can move on to uh, mr jerry and uh, team who will be able to speak to you koi sawal nahi i normally we normally say you know there are two possibilities you must have heard about it where you are some of you are laughing <laughs> one you have all understood everything or you were able to connect with whatever i said or it was just a bounce over the top and if it is going to go as a like even if the wicket keeper leaves it <laughs> it's much more problematic i hope it is not i wish it is not thank you my dear friends it was a nice time with you to share some of my wonderful experience and thanks uh, data logics for this wonderful opportunity for having me here to share my little experience with all of you best luck good wishes bye thank you yeah um thank you very much and yeah uh, it's taken a little bit of time to you know welcome the uh, late comers who have come in so th- welcome you all once again i see uh, hemant from servify who's come in and uh, we all my all our other friends who have come in uh, special in in uh, spe- special welcome to the uh, delegates from iit mumbai also and yeah um leonardo da vinci once said uh, simplicity is the ultimate form of sophistication right we all think that ipad is a very sophisticated machine but it's the one of the most simplest machines that you know you can find in the technology field so i would like to welcome uh, uh one special person here uh his akshay sansay he is a uh, professional photographer and he will share his experience as to how apple's technology and how uh, apple has been uh, helpful in his business and over to him Yeah, welcome. Let Let's give a round of applause for him. Yeah. Hello. 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 Uh, good evening to all of you. Uh, so I run this small production house in Mumbai, in Matanga. Uh, it's been like almost seven, eight years. We are running this. earlier uh, eight nine years back when we started uh, we had uh, windows machines all of them and uh, so basically i did in uh, high resolution images high resolution videos editing of that everything so when we were on to the video windows machine all of them were like high end one as much as possible but as uh, time passed by they leave their productivity speed as much as we wanted to be and uh, uh what made us shift from windows to mac is first is uh, in my profession also i strongly believe that a hardware and a software of something is designed by the same company and gives it a good amount of control over the stability of the product so that's what i really appreciate about uh, apple that they have designed their own hardware and software so there's a very good stability so when uh, i'm using apple from 2014 we started buying one by one shifting but when the new m1 chip came up it was ground breaking and we felt that uh, all the parameters of speeds were broken by that and uh, it was performing way better than double or triple price windows machine than uh, the m1 air which could cost around 90000 roughly and uh, gradually we have made almost all the transition from windows to apple in past uh, one one and a half year almost there and uh, 
couple of characteristics of Apple which I felt which in which were really good than the Windows was uh, suppose I'm working on a project and by any chance the system is crashing when the uh, system is shutting down uh, whenever I'm turning it back on all the work which is absolutely there without losing any of the work which has been done for past hours uh, I whenever my PC or my laptop goes to sleep and I have to wake it up it is in fraction of second I don't need to even wait for the loading purpose to happen whenever it restarts it just start crazily my laptop generally I don't even need to shut it down I just flap it down and it is there for 15 days 15 days also even if I'm not uh, turning it off it is in the same good speed compared to the Windows laptop within fraction of a day or within a day also I have to restart it just to get it back to the fresh start uh, to the fresh speed of the laptop and uh, about the speeds also of all the softwares which I use like Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, uh, Bridge all of them are running seamlessly fine uh, way better than what experience I had with the uh, Windows machines uh, yeah and the iCloud experience as well if I have to back up some of my files I don't have to go to browser it is there in my finder as well I can just drag and drop all the files there they go to the bottom there even I can integrate Google Drive into the finder itself so all the functionalities of uh, Mac has been very uh, user friendly to us now almost we have 8 machines which were replaced by uh, Windows uh, uh, Windows 8 machines uh, all were replaced by Mac right now uh, data transfer is also pretty much uh, uh, faster on the new Mac machines as they all have Thunderbolt 4 ports uh, which is USB uh, C ports which can give you a bandwidth of 20 Gbps for USB-C and 40 Gbps for Thunderbolt drives. So in my business it's about uh, one project we do can have a data of around more than uh, uh, 1 to 2 terabytes. So every after every project we have to back it up in 2 to 3 different drives and that gives us a really good speed for the entire backup process and uh, 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 getting it save backups on multiple drives because of the Thunderbolt drive. So that's it. Uh, I'm not a very good of speaker but uh, JV asked me to come and speak today. So uh, that's it from my end. Uh, thank you so much and uh, I highly recommend for you to try it out at least one PC to start with and uh, that's it. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, thank you so much Akshaya and yeah. Uh, is there anybody else uh, in the congregation who would like to share their experience as to how they are using Apple and Himan sir would you come yeah okay and yeah uh, with that I would just uh, we would just go into a, a small audio visual uh, presen uh, presentation as to how Apple is working in our day to day uh, businesses as how that's a small AV that uh, we'll be showing. Just uh, have a look at it. Two minutes till we have to go back. Uh, being back at the office. I didn't have 30 minutes for lunch. I hate it. Yep. No, Vivian. Oh. If you're not back at your desk in 10 minutes, you're fired. Do you guys ever dream about quitting? God, I wish we could quit. Why can't we? We could do our own thing. Yeah, like start our own company. Be our own bosses. We could get our weekends back. I can wear sweatpants every day. Bridget. 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 Let's quit. <laughs> Everything. Brian, what did you just say? I got donuts. No, about the bag. The double bag. 
Oh my god, Brian, you are a genius. Thanks, I just got a selection. No, the Brian, god. god. Oh. I still don't get it. Did you know that 87% of stores double bag? One reinforced bag could be as strong as two micro rooms. And better for the environment. And better for the budget. Yes. It's just like. This is so exciting, guys. Let's meet tomorrow. Yeah, but where? We don't have an office, remember? Welcome to corporate headquarters. Sorry about the smell. It's perfect. <laughs> Okay, devices, storage, what else? Oh, can we get slots? And Excel. Done. Dave, what's the Wi-Fi password? It's Wi-Fi password. Yeah, but what is it? Wi-Fi password. Are you telling me you sent your Wi-Fi password to Wi-Fi password? It's easy to remember. I just shared it with you. Thanks. Okay, what else? Marie, website. We need a web developer. A cheap web developer. I could ask my cousin Kevin. Yeah, let's do it. Ten Gs. Kevin? You're 14. And I want senior partner. Prototype, right here. Here, sir. We only need two minutes. Sorry, guys. Thanks, I know. Thanks, but it's not for us. Sorry, guys. Maybe next year. I'm not sure. Look, it's stronger. Hey, Brainer. You'll save your ton of money. Okay, we'll take 15. Thousand. <laughs> It's like nine hundred dollars. We're gonna have to sell a billion bags to make any money. I'm never moving out of my mom's place, am I? That's it. I'm calling Vivian. Maybe if we beg for our jobs back. No, guys, no. We need to sell a billion bags. That's what we're gonna do. Do you know what I see when I look around this table? I see the greatest packaging team in the history of ever. Look, I believe in us. Okay, we did this to build better lives. We need to make better bags. To sell better bags. Do you guys need a bag for that? We can make our own! Hey Siri, send a message to Dave. Dave, can you show the chart? If you want to look up here, we'll take 50,000.
short as I'm sure you have plenty of work to do. This better bag company of yours, I want to buy it. And you. Our work? You take the parking spaces? Our own floor? Our own department? Come in tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. We'll make things special. video as to how Apple is used in our work and you can see a lot of features that has been used and uh, uh, to have some a little bit of a technical we already had an industry uh, sharing from uh, our renowned photographer and producer so now we had a, a industry a specialist speaking to us now to take you through us technical uh, uh, know how uh, of how the iPad works and what are the things that you need to learn. Uh, it's over to Tamim. He is our pre-sales head, technical, and he just run you through a few slides. Yes. Thank you, Jerry. So, uh, hi all. Uh, I I won't take uh, much time. So, uh, just a small, uh, you know, uh, clarification from my side, because when. Um, because when the speaker he said like how the user experience for the end user, right? So Apple means intuitive. So it's intuitive means it's not for only the end user, but as well as here many IT persons are there. And uh, you know uh, when when designing a tool when we are adopting a new technology, definitely we will be thinking more about it like how it will be getting to be get deployed or how we are going to get managed about the devices, right? So uh, to take that question, so I want to answer this with a few slides. So uh, this interview part is not only for the end users, as well as it is also for the IT users. Next. So already I have explained like how the mobility has been changed the entire world, right? So uh, always the technology is for running and uh, entirely the world has got changed. How the way we are living, we are getting connected, how we are getting engaged, so everything got changed. Right? And the mobility, it, it came to a next level, like uh, the working style of us got entirely changed. Just now in the video we have seen like many of the examples there, right? Next. So to make this as an intuitive for the end user and as well as for the IT, all the products which we build, we have these three features as a DNA in all our products. So that is all the products are with the creative things which unlocks the potential of the employees uh, to think on the creativity. And as well as, even it has the power to adapt for all the advanced technology, it has to be simple, right? So the tool which we create, it will be very simple with the advanced features. Uh, most of you know about that features like uh, continuity of, uh, you know, you can copy somewhere in your iPad and you can paste in your Mac, or else you can start a work in one of your device and you can complete in another one. Right? So there are multiple futures are there. Uh, I don't think that will be a, this will be a right time to explain all the futures. So I touch around on that. 
and uh, directly I will enter into the deployment and management part. So what are the things which is provided by Apple? Right. So and finally, even the device is creative and simple, so it it, it, it works and it serves with the humanity. Okay, so th these are the three things which we have in all our products and uh, with the same thing we want to uh, give for the IT persons as well. Not only thinking on the user perspective but also as the deployment and uh, you know the management part of the IT also we think of that. So here's the one option uh, you know I just go with the center point which is zero touch deployment. So most of you know about it but overall just I want to reiterate on that as well. So uh, you know the unboxing experience is always a great thing right. So as the IT uh, general what we do uh, what we have seen in uh, you know many of the organizations is they unbox the device and uh, you know they will install all the applications whatever they want to install for the end users and in some institution in some organization if they want to put some restrictions for example from this time to this time it, they should not use these type of apps right and after this period they have to use uh, you know they can use as like they, they can use their normal devices like that and the mail applications uh, you know they, they should not use for example uh, there will be an Adobe PDF reader as well as and also inbuilt Apple will be giving an option known as preview right so you may decide any of the official communication or official document which is which, which can be opened only through a particular app example with the preview or else with the uh, you know Adobe PDF like, like that you can design so it's, it's everything for the security purpose. So whenever this type of restrictions has been, you know, compliance uh, made by the company, so the IT persons, they will develop all these profiles and they open up the device, they, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they uh, install all these restriction policies into the device, then it will be handed over to the end user, right? And generally what we do, we will create a standard account sometimes and if, uh, you know, if it's uh, developers are the users, we will give the admin drives but even though you know some of the uh, you know, organization nowadays uh, they are creating only the standard user rights and even the continuous updates or upgrades are coming every time they have to come and ping the admin like uh, please enter the password and uh, allow me to get the updates right so apple thinks on this as well and they made the policy which is known as zero touch deployment that means you just give the device to the user or else from their logics we directly, uh, if you recommend, we will directly ship the device to your user location, okay? When the user unbox the device, what are the policies which you like? What are the applications which you like, which you need to be get installed for your user? So everything will be get deployed. And your users, they are, uh, you know, uh, they are in your office and uh, they are, uh, you know, ready to work. They don't need to ask you like, boss, what is the password of the Wi-Fi I need to connect with that? So everything will be pre-configured just they have to open up even the account will be there even the local account or else you can set up an admin account so all these things will be ready ready for them just even uh, they can use the single sign-on you can make the integration part as well uh, if you have an active directory or a cell app you can bind up with that so everything works in this just with a single password you can log in all the applications are ready for use directly they can use so which means it's very simple for the user side as well as for the IT side, right? It's a one-time configuration. Once it's done, everything will be moved very smoothly. And also, it's very transparent. You know, uh, some organizations they will ask us, "See, Tamim, I will put this restriction for the users." And continuously, they are calling me like, uh, "See, this is not working. Have you blocked this? Hey, uh, I'm trying to go to this website, but it's not allowing me to go. There will be an internet issue." But they will ask that me. Have you blocked this website or URL so it's not allowing me? Can you whitelist it like that? Right? So it's very transparent in Apple. Okay, so the user itself they can directly go to the uh, settings page and to the restriction profile and they can see what are the restrictions has been done by the admin. They're not able to change it, but they can view like what are the restrictions and policies are there. So just that by a one word you can answer. So directly you can go to this page, navigate, and you can see what are the restrictions I have made for you. Right? So that's also very clear and transparent uh, uh, you know for the users and what are the users of zero touch I already have mentioned uh, so everything goes and works over the air even you want to install some of the apps for example uh, you know what happens if I install a zoom app for my users 
After some while, I have decided, you know, I have to roll back all the Zoom licenses and I wanted to install all the WebEx license for the users, which is what we will do generally. So we will ask them to come to the IT and uh, we will install the apps or else we will ask them to install the apps and we will give the license to them, right? So nothing is needed. So just from sitting in, a, in your seat itself, directly you can pull back all their licenses and you can install the WebEx even without their inter intention. Just you can install the apps and save the SSO they can use for the login purpose and we will work as well. So how it got possible is with two things. So the one is with Apple Business Manager and the second one is Mobile Device Manager. So first of all, what is Apple Business Manager is? It's a free portal which is given by Apple. It's a complimentary services. Actually, they are doing two things. So the one is Apple Business Manager, which is for the enterprise purpose. And the second one is Apple School Manager. So that is for uh, education purpose, entirely for the education. So when I say school, uh, generally you know well, right? So in, uh, in the US and other countries, they will say all the hired as the schools. So they call that as a Apple School Manager. So there are different, uh, you know, uh, advantages for EDM, uh, that means Apple Business Manager and School Manager. For School Manager, they'll be giving uh, 200 GB of cloud storage for each managed application, okay? And the main advantage here is you, will, you can create multiple managed IDs, okay? Managed Apple. You know about Apple ID, I believe. So uh, any of the apps, if you want to download, or else you want to collaborate a keynote or a pages or any document, one of with your work users on the same document, you can collaborate with the app ID, right? That way you will uh, put your app ID on the collaborate part. So they will be getting a mail from there. You can work collaboratively, right? So this is known as app ID. So what happens, just think uh, one of the uh, user in an organization, he or she, he puts uh, their own app ID and they release the organization without removing the app ID, what happens? If they if they doesn't uh, enable the two-factor authentication or uh, you know find mine, then there is no no problem. Just we can uh, wipe out the device and uh, or else from the terminal we can reset the password and we can uh, you know uh, give to the other user. But at any chance, if they have entered their find my option, they have enabled the find my, we're not able to do anything. Right? I I, uh, I think uh, you might be aware about it. Even in your personal device. Uh, you can see an option of find my if you have enabled it you can track the device you can lock it you can wipe it even you can play a sound and you can find out where it is so these are the four options that are available so the same thing which will be applicable because since they have put their own app id it comes as their personal device right so to to make that also as a simple because again the it person has to go and beg them boss please give the password because i have to you know unlock the device and i have to give for the another user for the usage Right. So to make that simple, uh, Apple came with this option, which is known as managed Apple ID. So you don't need to create one by one. So just as an Excel sheet, or else any of your directory service, as I said, as an Active Directory, or else as an LDAP, you can bind with your ABM. That means Apple Business Manager. Just in a fraction of seconds, even thousands or lakhs of IDs are there. Everything will be created. So just you can share with your users. So you you don't need to worry about uh, you know even the didn't give the password or else they can say because I forget my Apple ID password means also you have a complete access to that ID where you can reset it and you can set it up. So these are the main advantages of uh, this ABM and ASM. Uh, so there are multiple advantages are there but as of now just I will wind up these two points which is uh, you know very much critical for uh, IT in all the parts in my experience. So that's what I want to share that. And second one is mobile device management most of you have heard. Uh, so there are multiple Indium uh, options are there and UEM also there that is Unified, uh, unified Endpoint Management. Uh, if uh, your organization have Windows, Linux and uh, you know, Mac like multiple platforms, if you want to control all these things within a single option then you can go with a UEM or else there are multiple MDM options are there. Uh, we are an authorized partners for Jamf, AirWatch and 40 reviews. So we can able to offer if you want to put that type of restrictions like that. So we will handhold you and we we can help you to uh, put the policies and apply the restriction for your Z devices. So these are the two things which help you to achieve the zero test deployment. Next. So how it works is once the device it gets purchased from us. 
So we will be getting enrolled all the serial number of the devices into your ABM account, into your Apple Business Manager account, right? So what you do actually is, you will be having an MDM server, so you will be adding that URL with your ABM server. These are all one time process, we will make it one time. So after next time itself, whenever you are purchasing the devices, just we will add the serial number, it goes as flow. So you don't need to go again and again and you need to add the URL uh, or else it's like give OK, so it will be go not like that. So it's, it will be set up one time, even you can set up like uh, some organization, they will use two or three MDMs. Okay, for iPhone, they will be using the iPhone and uh, iPad, they will be using separate MDM. And for Mac, they will be using separate MDM. Even you can set up an option, any of the iOS devices, it comes inside. For example, it can go to Java. Or in any of the Mac devices comes inside, then it has to redirect to the 42 gs MDM. Like that, even you can set up a default option. So you don't need to go again and you need to check up. Once we enroll the device into your ABM portal, so it will be automatically redirected to your MDM, right? From there, what are the policies or restrictions which you have created? Everything will be redirected to your device. So we have in a service which is known as Apple Push Notification Service. So what happens is it pings to there. Hey, I have to talk with that device. Okay, it belongs to this organization. Can you call it? Right? So the push notification, will, it will inform him. So whenever the device connect with the Wi-Fi, it will inform, you go and check the MDM, it need to talk with you something. So it will come and ask the MDM what's up. So it will say, what's the command you want to run? You want to lock, you want to wipe, you want to erase, or you want to install some application, you want to revoke the license, or you want to install some, uh, you know, any new of the policies, so everything will be possible. So this is the workflow which goes on zero to zero. So Apple Business Manager is very simple. Uh, if you have a dunce number, uh, you know uh, you can reach us, or else even you don't have, uh, you have minimum five numbers or ten numbers. It's not must like you. You should have this much of numbers to get an Apple Business Manager ID or Apple School Manager ID. Okay. So even you have two devices, three devices, no matter it is. So we will help you to get the Apple Business Manager account. So once you get, whenever you are. Uh, you know, uh, growing up or scaling up your, uh, you know, Mac or iOS deployment, which will help you to get the complete inventory of the records. That's the main advantage which I see from the, you know, uh, IT perspective. So, for example, for this month, if you are procuring 10 devices or 50 or 100, so that will be comes under one order ready. So then another thing will be comes under another order ready. So where, uh, you know, after one year, when you check this inventory record, completely you will get all the records, when I have purchased, what are the serial numbers, whether it is with me still, or else I have left it out. For example, after three years, generally we will make a refresh program, right? We used to change the device with the updated one. Generally for the developers, it happens, right? For, so even you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, release the device from the ABM account, even that data also will be stored on this. So there will be a complete inventory record you will be having about your device. So that is the main advantage of Apple Business Manager. So if you have, if you don't have Apple Business Manager, please, Pink Jelly or uh, you know uh, other other persons who are all available in this region. So we will be helping you and guiding you to get the Apple Business Manager portal. Just you need only the dance number, and uh, some of the organization already they will be having the dance number, but they will be not knowing like what is the dance number I have. So even that also we will be helping you like whether you got registered or not like that, right? So this is on ABM part, and as I said, so there are multiple ABM solutions are there available in market. And uh, you know, you can check and work on any of the MDMs. So we are the authorized partners for Jamf, 42 gears and AirWatch. So we also help you on that part. Even you have not done any of the profiling or restrictions or policies, we will be helping you on the basic steps like how you can do. But we are not really expert on script part, but we will be connecting you to that type of people as well. So uh, that's a small technical aspect from my side I want to I want to explore and uh, I want to explain. Uh, so the only thing is, like whenever we are giving a best tool for an employee, definitely they will give the best out of them. But the only thing is whether we are giving the best tool with the you know, uh, right access. So that is the main thing. So uh, this question generally comes as when we go and approach the education sector. So they will be asking me like, I mean, are you asking me to get the gadgets into the uh, school? 
it's India, ma'am. Where you are, they like that. They'll be using a solution. But after COVID, everything I have, I see it has been changed. So now many of the international school they have been put a rule like the student have to come with the gadgets. It, it, it's not I am not saying like iPad has to come, but they are insisting to come with a digital tool because nowadays uh, we are again and again we are hearing a word which is digital, right? Wherever we go, digital library, digital ebook, digital that, digital this. Right, everything came as digital. Even this time when I came from flight, I got uh, boarding pass also as a digital. There is no uh, non uh, hard copy. So, uh, so that's from my side. So, any of the uh, doubts on technical part, uh, we'll be happy to clear on that. Yes. Sir. So, as you say, uh, you can integrate uh, business account to M any MDM or. Yeah. The list of you are having MDM, it can be indicated with that only. No, uh, so these are the MDMs uh, just uh, just put for the reference. But you, if you have an uh, MDM, you can integrate with any of the MDMs. Any MDM you have, you can integrate that. Some MDMs are there in the market. For example, uh, if you have Mac, uh, sorry, if you have Windows, but you are getting some MDM which works only with the Mac means, then you will not able to control your device. What you took here as same, so it compared with the uh, Mac and Windows both. Yes, but yes. Jamf is only for a Mac. Jamf is exclusively they work only with Apple. So if I have another one MDM, so it can be clubbed with it. Yes, yes, multiple MDM they can. No issues. And even you can assign like all the Mac devices because uh, I will say one thing, Jamf they are the leading partners on uh, controlling the Apple devices today because uh, they have very simple framework. <coughs> And uh, you know they have a zero day support, so that is the main advantage on Jamf. Because they work very closely with Apple. So, uh, for example, this time the new Ventura is getting launched. So, uh, you know you don't need to worry about whether the user they updated with the Ventura OS. What happens to me? So, some of the options will not work like that. So, there will be some glitches, uh, uh, you know, until this uh, new update will come, right? So, you don't need to worry about that. You can block, or else you can directly update. Even for that, also they will be having the second one. So that's we say as zero day support. So like that, for example, if you have Windows and Mac, even you can set up like Windows or Linux device can be controlled with for EDBS or any other UEM services. And if it is a Mac or iOS, it can be controlled with Jamal. And that's the thing you can do as well. So the answer is you can add multiple EDBS. Yes, sir. Uh, so any other questions? Uh, Okay, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I think we can take questions individually over dinner, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks everyone for joining this series on iPad and business along with Apple and Data Logics. We would be having this kind of series for each products uh, on a quarterly basis. So this is one such series that we have started. So going forward now that the pandemic is done and dusted and uh, you know, we're all eagerly waiting to gather in a place like that meet people, share their experience and work together. So that's all from our side. Uh, have a very good evening and join us for dinner. Thank you so much.